Looks like a fair price. Very fair. And I'll do my best to get it for you. So I'll bring the papers by in the morning. And of course, uh, when you're ready to start looking for a new home, just uh, let me know. Good night. Good night. Ruth. Because of me, because of my uh, infatuation with that young woman, and that's all it was, an infatuation, I don't know what got into me, and I'm embarrassed by it now. We are getting a divorce. And I can't bear the thought of it. You are the most fascinating woman I have ever known. And I have never loved any woman but you. Please accept my apology for hurting your feelings. I am sorry. Why didn't you say that ages ago? I never wanted to divorce you. I'm never letting another real estate agent in this house. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Wait. Do you remember when we first bought this house? <laughs> As if it were yesterday. The very first night we spent here? Before we had furniture. Here. In this living room. Ruth. Michael. The good thing about having no servants is we needn't worry about being interrupted. We tell Arthur the truth. But how, how do we say it? We tell him we didn't mean to fall in love. The... Uh, that sounds stupid. How about, um, it's nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault, and it's better you find out now rather than later. And you and he can still be friends. Don't, They're... don't say the friends part. All right. So we say it's better to learn about it now? Find out. It's better to find out now rather than later, and we tell him right away. Oh, sure, we just walk right up to him. Arthur, is your car fixed good? Because I'm dropping you like a hot potato. Waiting will make things ten You know so much, I'm the one who told you that. And I agree, so just relax. Arthur will understand. And all in all, it's better that you find this out now rather than later. Uh, uh, I think he took that as well as would be expected. I guess this means congratulations are in order, son. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Haley, are you aware that, historically, Jews have often been hated and persecuted? I guess I'm as aware of it as anyone. I used to be one of the people who did that sort of thing. But if the question means, does it bother me to be hated and persecuted? No. Makes no never mind to me what people think. Maybe I can make up for my part of what's happened in the past. What initially prompted you to choose the Jewish faith? I know the right answer to that question, Rabbi. The right answer? There's only one acceptable answer. Of my own free will, and without ulterior motive, I seek acceptance into the Jewish fold. Now, the truth is a lot different than the right answer. The truth is, I fell in love with a Jewish woman. God help me. I don't mean that disrespectfully, but I don't know why or how something like that could happen if I'm not supposed to do something about it. I mean, who understands God's reasons? Not me, that's for sure. He lets me fall in love with a beautiful Jewish woman. But the rules say, I not only can't marry her, I can't become Jewish because marrying her is the reason I want to. But what if God had me fall in love with her just so I'd look into Judaism? If that's the case, then whoever's keeping me from Judaism is defying God's will. Now, I could memorize all the right answers 
and maybe squeak past one of you rabbis. But the truth is, when I first started studying, it was for the wrong reasons. I got interested. And whether or not you accept me as a proselyte, I'm going to keep studying, and you can't stop me. Mamamides said, the convert is the child of Abraham. And if you badmouth a convert, you're wrong. Now, I'm not a convert yet, but maybe it's not a bad time to remind some people that the Torah says 36 times it reminds the Jew to respect the convert. It also says 36 times to love the convert. How am I ever going to get to be a convert if nobody gives me a chance? These were both your fathers. Which one would you like to wear to your wedding? This one. No, that one. Uh, I like this one better. Well, then why did you ask? Will you sit still? Uh, I figure if I leave right from the reception and drive all night with any luck, I can be in Jersey by Monday morning. With prayer, you can be there safely. Fine, I'll use whatever luck Al has left you over. You don't need luck. With your talent, all you need is hard work and... and... a little prayer, but I could use a little luck. You can pray for as much luck as you need. I'll keep praying for your baseball career. Metcalf Con residence. Yes, this morning. Jeff, Coach Zellner. Hi, Coach. Boudreaux's going to give you another shot. They're giving me another chance? But he has to make sure what he saw wasn't a flash in the pan, so he wants you to join the farm team for a while. They're sending me the miners. You see, prayers are answered. And that will keep your punch cold for hours and hours. Well, folks, I want all of you in the audience to know how much I appreciate your cards and letters. And I, I am tying the knot on Saturday, like I promised. But my fiancé isn't who he was when I made the announcement. I mean, he, he is who he was. He's just not who I said he was. So uh, when you tune into the next installment of the Fine Foods Family Hour, your new hostess will be Mrs. Jeff Metcalf. But you can still call me Ginger. Bye for now. A man by the name of Clement hasn't asked for me, has he? No. Well, when he does, could you send him to my table over there, please? I'll do that. I don't know anyone by that name. Is he in here often? Certainly not. He's a widely traveled man of the world. Mm. I'm not sure that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a good thing, love. Because even if half of what he says is true, he's richer than Croesus. And Croesus is my ticket out of this city. You're not marrying Arthur Schillip after having announced it on the air? Several times. But I am marrying Jeff Metcalf. But he's not a ball player. There's, there, there's no publicity in marrying him. Do you aid Miss Westcott speaking? Maybe the audience won't be able to tell the difference between him and Arthur. They both have dark hair. Miss Zabo, your latest fiancé. Hi. I've got great news. Boudreaux's sending me the farm team. Oh, congratulations. He is so a ball player again. Listen, they want me in Wichita for tomorrow night's game. I have to catch the 6 o'clock train. Wichita? We're getting married tomorrow. Ginger, you want to put off our wedding so you could sing a song. Now, all I'm doing is delaying it a little bit so I can play a few games and get back into the majors. I swear to you I'll be as faithful as if we're already married. I'll play as hard as I can so I can get back as soon as I can. And what with you working and me playing, I... The, the weeks will go by in no time. Weeks? Well, a few months at most. A few months? Look, I gotta go or I'll, I'll miss the train. A, a, a few months? I love you. A few months? 